Hello everybody, it's Masan19. Welcome back to Mump Play 2 Bannerlord, the Sturgeon campaign, and our kingdom is started. So now we're gonna go start heading down and we're gonna go get these guys some troops. And now the good news is my sturgeon restriction has now been lifted. Now that I have my own kingdom, I am free to take anybody I want. We're going to go get these guys some of their troops. Of course, we're going to check out... Ooh, there we go. Alright, what do we got? Alright, it's a, it's not a light one. It's a medium. The medium handle. Where is it? No, that doesn't have the reap. That has the reap. Oh, come on, don't do this. Okay. Hope it's this one. And unfortunately, it's not. It's going to be one of these. So it's probably going to be this. And I don't think I can get it with that. Nope, I can't. I can get it close. There we go. Just please, because it wasn't high enough. Form only a thousand. Throwing axe, good. Maze. I gotta hold a hundred influence in reserve. So before I can make policy, I have to hold a hundred influence. Just in case I get attacked. Uh, let's go right down to Amitavis. I can stick one down by Zayanica. One. And actually, I think I'd rather hit Domaris. One at Domaris, one at Poros. And then one we're going to put right in. Oh, uh, probably Akalot. That way they could grab either of the Cav here. Then we're going to hightail it up, grab the Wool Weavers, and then hopefully by then. We'll be good to go. Ooh, this is a good one. Alright, this has to have thrust. Let's hope it's this one. This is the one that always messes me up. There's that 136. There she is. There she is. Uh, difficulty. And that's what's always weird about this. Oh no, that ain't it. Wow. Well. You can tell by the difficulty, they're telling you it should be down in here. Now the difficulty is right there. That's what they're telling you. However, I don't see it.
You know, I think I'm just gonna go with this one. I was hoping I could get the I was hoping I could get the weight down, but I can't get the weight down. There she is. But it, see, our difficulty is still lower. That's why they're displeased with it. That one's going to mess me up. There she is. Alright, that's done. Alright, we're going to go ahead to Jomaris. We're going to go dump this guy off here. That way I'll have two empires and then one trying to get... Hopefully they can get enough cab. I don't know if I should go pick up some cab. We're losing 600 right now. We're going to lose a lot more than that here soon. 142,000. Can't be it. One fifty nine. Yeah, I'm definitely missing something. One eighty five. One sixty five. All right, there's a to two hundred. Boom. Now, it's still displeased because I didn't meet the difficulty requirement, but it's still 70k. Yeah, one-handed sword, two-handed swords, I don't really deal with. This I don't always deal with as well. Uh, it's a little bit easier... Um, to do dagger or throwing knives than it is daggers. Um, you choose that one and that only puts you off by two. And then with this handle, you choose the one that puts you off by one, which will put me to 28. So wherever the 28 is, there's the 28. And then this bottom one, it's one of these right here. And if it doesn't fit and it's one off, then you can use the slider to adjust. Much easier to deal with throwing knives than it is with daggers. Okay. So we have you dealt with, so we're going to drop one person off here, which let's go with Appy. First thing we want to do is we want to get rid of all of her, wow, she's got Kuzite. Holy cow. How'd you get Kuzite troop? Must have taken it off of somebody else. 
somebody we fought. All right, we're going to get rid of all their uh, sturgeon troops. Looks good. All right. You can go, brother. All right. He's going to go collect up troop. Now we'll go drop one more person off over by Poros. Then one over in Kuzite territory, which it, it can be advantageous to fight these guys. However, I just don't really want to spend the time doing it right now. And you guys don't have anything good, so I'm not really going to mess around with you today. Same damn thing. Another quick one. Fight. One piece. I don't care about. Two ander. Good. Alright. Octoporals. I gotta be careful though. I gotta, I gotta maintain my army for a little bit. Or else that's where you lose your... Where does it say? Clan members in party plus 1.26. So I also want to maintain the army because I have a vicious campaigner. Thirty-seven K. I not worth me messing around for thirty-seven thousand. Bring you a little bit up this way. We're probably gonna let Vana go. Only got thirty one. Uh, let's hope that's enough. That I gotta watch out for. That right there. That's what worries me. Go get your troop. Okay, you gotta get troops first, Vana. There you go. Now we're gonna go make our way over to Kuzite. We're dropping 700 a day. We're probably gonna be dropping about two, three grand minimum. And that is at the bare minimum. You know, I think I want to start getting rid of some of these 
You know, I don't think I need all the sturgeon now. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Nothing special. be it. Probably not, so we're just going to run with it. number will slowly start increasing and I don't want to put it oh hello hello Woo. oh I got him on neutral okay Phew. There we go. Might not be it. that going to be it? Yep. Put that. 142. Ah, so close. Damn. Ah, well. 60k. We'll take it. All right, let's get over into Kuzite territory. We'll pull all her sturgeon troops as well. Lose, it said I lost 3,200. As is only projected to lose 1,200. Damn, not super important. So 
always a difficult one to get. The one-handers, I think I hate one-handed the word. I feel like that is not the blade. Pretty cold, so we'll just run with that almost 10k. And we get another one, jeez. It's like I, I don't think that's the blade. Keep leaving it on myself. Uh, I don't want to deal with it. Please, because I didn't put the other part on there. There's another part you could stick on there. Uh, get over here. Surprised I haven't gotten attacked yet. But I almost got enough. And then I'm going to lose another 0.62 when I let her go. I always hate you getting the big brother. Find him a complete waste of time. He's not a good group leader. He, he doesn't serve much of a, a, a really good purpose in this game. That's the one downside I have to him. I, once again, I keep leaving it on myself. Fine steel. Ah. Yeah, I should be a little bit more careful with my materials. Right, let's get on up here. Drop her off. It's not going to take long before they're ready to go. And then our our objective is going to be Sturgia, which is going to be good and bad. The bad part about it is, is I'm going to push towards Huzite territory. So by doing that, it's going to really screw up my wool weaveries. will need to grab horses. Thought about going after that 49, but I'm a little worried right now. We're like far away from home. I want to drop her off right here.
All right, here we go with the sturgeons. Wow, she's already got 94. Um, I guess maybe I should take some of those. Wow. Um, I guess maybe I should take the nomads then. I can build them up myself. Yeah, I'll, I'll be over the limit. All right. I got over my 100. I'm happy with that. These are what I'll have to deal with soon. I'll be getting rid of some of these. Definitely not. Oh, I'm still over the limit. Oh, crap. Uh, I guess I have to deal with it. We'll get rid of the woodsmen, but I want to keep the brigands. Because they're going to turn into those. Although, I remember... I think it was Flavius talking about them. I'll take the Vlandian. I can, uh, I'm going to hold off on them. Except I am going to take my... I want to get these guys up there as quick as possible. All right, those are going to be in my reserve. I got 40 more to get. I got 35 nomads. I don't think I need any more nomads. I think for me, the biggest thing. Is going to be getting the legionaries. I like everything I got. Yeah. I'm done here. Okay, um... Grab my wool reverie. Grab a few Empire troops and then we need to hit back to town. And this is the woodwork job. One. And we'll go to Voltacon. Down to Chalkland. Uh. No, we'll go this route. We'll hit Akalot to Chocolate to Balticon. That'll put us right by Sturgeon territory.
And then hopefully by the time I get back up there, everybody will be pretty much set. I got a hundred. Uh, you got anything good? Nope. Don't even want to deal with it. That'll help offset my cost, because I'm still going to lose money. And I could get rid of my other two workshops in Omar to get Wool Weaveries. However, if for some reason I lose the Wool Weaveries, I don't want that to happen. Now, I could put them down in Omar or Onira and uh, Danoska. They're pretty good. But I just don't want to take the chance on losing them for any reason. And right now, I just don't really feel like messing around. I just feel like grabbing them and going because uh, I really want to get to war. Uh, I should check and see, though. I got butter. And I got cheese. Uh, it's just really, it's just olives, grapes, wine, and oil. Which is a little bit important. Ah, damn it. I'm going to have to do it. See, she's going up there. I don't want her up there. So I got to pull her back down this way. Yeah, I really need her going up into freaking Sturgeon territory. That's really what I need right now. Once I hit 200... Ooh, hello. Ah, he got him. Once I hit 200, then I can enact my first policy, which, of course, will be the one that reduces the overriding of the other vassals by 20%. Yeah, come on down this way, Appy. You need to stay down here. There. Now you stay down there. Oh, uh, now we need to just go to Baltacon. Grab that wool weavery. I don't care if she heads down there. She does not need to go. Oh, wow. He's almost up by my town. He's probably almost done. As soon as they're done, I'm going to invite him back in. Because I'm heading right back over. Nighttime. Of course it's nighttime. We should be pretty much that. Uh, this is what I talked about. When you can't find one, what you want to do is get as close to that as possible. And then you just bring the weight down. Throwing knives are really easy compared to daggers. Same thing here. Uh, okay, 7, 28. This one is one of these. There you go. Boom. Uh, that is because I didn't get it the difficulty. Uh, I should have pulled this right down here and I didn't do it. So that's just me being a um, little too fast for my own good. And this, this technically could be this. Yeah, see, there it is. here until daytime. And it's time to head back over. Crap. That I gotta pay attention to. I had a wool weebry in here. You don't really want to put two wool weavers in. They could still make money in Kuzite territory. In fact, one of these days, I should try three of them. 
I should put three wool weaveries in one town. It's a back alley. It's a back alley. Um, put three wool weaveries in a Kuzite town and see how long it takes for them to run out of wool. And I haven't been checking for prison breaks either. Because I got that bad boy. I should be checking for prison break. Alright. Let's start heading our way back over. Uh, if you're looking at prison break early in the game, I cannot stress it enough. That one of the best places you can look is Sargot. It gets attacked so much in the early game. And because it's constantly getting taken, its security and everything is down, that you don't have a lot of people to fight. I, I just cannot stress enough how much watching Sargot can jumpstart you. I am really starting to take a lot more interest in roguery than I ever have before. What I do with these is, is in a normal game, I'll have two into full arm, two into two hand. This is for sieges and prison break. This is for campaign fighting. And that two is enough. Uh, the point that I get in into smithing, I'll put that one into vigor. So that puts me up to 112 cap. Which is decent for those. That's not bad. I'm really starting to get into roguery. The perks are amazing. That's about to go. No, I ain't stopped for 14k. Oopsie. Whoop, my bad. I gotta get those out of there. Because how much does that give me now? 20% more loot. Uh, yeah, every four is one. So at 100, you would gain 25% more loot. So think if you got, let's say, 40,000 in loot in a battle. 25% of that's 10k. You'd make an extra 10,000 a battle. That's a lot. Almost got enough. Now, my first one is definitely going to be the 20% override. Because at any time, I could get a a vassal. Although, is it? Is it really the smarter way to go? There we go. No, it's got to be a lower one. Definitely got to be one of these. What don't I have? Oh, I'm out. Uh, same thing with weight again. Alright. 
we're making our way back over. Uh, there are my guys hanging out in my area. Can't believe I haven't gotten attacked. There goes Appy again. Jeez, getting on my nerves, that girl. It's like they're trying to head back to my town. But she is full, though. So they're all full, so I should probably pull them in my army. I should go ahead and make my army now. Just because they're all full. And that gets me a lot more influence. I think I'll probably hang here. That's kind of in the middle. Now, do I really want to get that one? I don't want to lose the influence right now. Uh... That is huge. You suffer just 5% loss in taxes. If you look at the taxes. It says, it says Omar is 1,200. So that'd be 60. To gain one town loyalty a day. So let's look at the town and make sure this is working right. All right, so my loyalty is at zero zero three one nine seven increase. So that's working. That's to everybody. That's not just me. And believe me when I tell you, it can, it's going to become a problem. You need to deal with that. And there, for some reason, not all the vassals want that stuff. And it can be hard to override their decisions. So getting that done early is, is really important. You could see that with Party Elite's game. He had almost the entire world taken over. But his problems were rebellion. So many of the lords couldn't control their towns. So they had massive rebellion problems. There we go. 740. And I'm not done yet. Now, I, I can always do the through while we wait. Uh, I need horse. That's right. I need to go up into Batania. We're pretty much, we're going to be set up to go to war next uh, episode. Unless we get attacked right away, but I really need to get up into Batania and I really want to go grab some Batanian ponies and even some uh, war mounts. Because they're the cheapest. We're only losing 900 a day right now. Amazing. I got a almost like a 750 man army, and that's all I'm losing. Whoa! Oh, I don't know why it jumped like that. Huh, I don't know. Uh, I try not to keep track of what they ha they got going on there. Uh, we got a 14k. I don't like a lot of times dealing with maces. Maces can be really difficult at times. You can see you get off just by two. You know, it's like you're just missing something somewhere. And sometimes it's just not worth all the effort that you put into it. You're, there's 75. My legendary.
the opposite. Swing speed and damage are the complete opposite. You don't want those. Those are not the opposite. But that's a lot of damage to cut off. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, I can't get that. It's not right. I don't know what's wrong. Yeah, I'm missing... Not sure where it is. Forget it. I thought maybe I'd hit a crit on it. All right, let's skate on up there. See if we can get a few horses. Uh, we got 2.8 speed, which isn't bad. Uh, I'm hoping I can pick up some horses to bump that maybe up to about 3.1, 3.2. Well, oh, definitely Bush Doctor. There's so many more villages than there are towns. So now that tells me, you know, watch out to go into town. You know, try to, if at all possible and you can, just heal in villages because you get a 20% bonus. And I'm hoping I can increase that by maybe about 3.1 or something like that. That would be really cool if I could. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Nothing. Two point nine. I'd have to probably get another couple hundred horses, I would think. Two point nine is okay. Nothing good. Although... I gotta make sure I hold that for as long as possible because I get the bonus for it. For gourmet and increase my um, party morale. So right now... The, the formula is morale minus 70. So that is 14. And then you multiply, and then it 0.7, that is multiplied by 0 .00, 0 0.001. So 1,000 equals 1. So it's 0 0.753 times 14 for morale. And then that is also multiplied by my learning rate which is 11.5 so that would come out to be 121 i'm gaining 121 leadership a day that's how you figure it out now you i'm definitely going after So yeah, that's how you figure out your your why that is why morale is so important. It is so freaking vital because it's a multiplier. Where if I had a hundred morale instead of that eighty-five, it would then get multiplied by by thirty instead of fifteen. Right now, it's point seven five three times fourteen times eleven point five. That would be 0. 0.753 times 30 times 
So this right here is going to help me as well. I'm probably going to gain a couple morale out of this for recent events. And your morale actually goes above 100. Even though it doesn't show it, it does go above 100. Ooh, guys, look at that. That's nice. Work on that surgery. Nice. Like seeing that red and white. So your morale, even though it says 100, it does go above 100. It just doesn't show it. So you could have like 120 morale, recruit a bunch of troops, and you'll still stay at 100. I guess I should have checked for prison breaks as well. I didn't do that. So I think we're pretty much, like I said, I think we're pretty much good to go. Uh, I probably should swap out some troops, though. I did get a lot of that comment, which is... Um, very a very good idea. Uh, I do not like. I feel. I do not feel like doing it. I don't that time. And normally, it's, it doesn't take too long to. See, it doesn't take too long to normally go through those. Because I have raised the Meek and Drill Sergeant both. All my Tier 1s and 2s gain 60 XP a day. Now, a lot of my... Now, my companions, I do really build them up, though. Uh, when I have them do that, I make sure I get them Drill Sergeant. So, she's got Drill Sergeant, and... She does not have raised the Meek. So her, um, it's two EXP to all troops, where I take Raise the Meek because it's plus four EXP to one and two. So your higher level troops aren't gaining, but your lower level troops are gaining two more experience every day. And like I said, I think we're pretty much set. And the one thing I want to avoid, though, is, is I do not want to head to Kuzite territory right away. That's why I'm only loot, not even losing a thousand a day. Now, I can take more horses. As you can see, I'm prepared. I, I talk about this a lot, being prepared. We're at 2.8, 2.9. Uh, maybe we're just going to hold it 2.9. And we're good. Yeah, we're just going to hold it 2.9. Um... Alright, he's on the workshop. I don't really need to do a forum, do I? I would think that. Training. I don't need militia. It's only a 5%. That would only be 60 a day. Not as important. I don't know if it's smart to actually run Aqueduct. Prosperity is what's going to help kill your food. Look at that. He's still... It's going to be full.
Yeah, it's going to max out full loyalty. And if I get rid of him as a governor, it's still going to be able to hold about 95 or 96 loyalty. And security, I even have one gone with the... Um, oh, it did, I don't have it up there yet. He's still almost... It's still max security and, and max loyalty with the governor. There's 200 troops in the garrison. But that's what I want to give away to somebody. So the first thing I'm going to probably do... Oh, I have another... Um, okay. Um, we're, at, uh, we're at 200. Do I want to go trial by jury? It's that additional loyalty. It's very important. It's the decrease in security and the clans losing one. Only reason I hold off on that was because of the one lost in uh, influence. Forgiveness of debt. Settlement loyalty is increased by two per day. And all you lose is 5% production. Uh, I would like to get Imperial Towns as well. No, I actually don't want to do that. My towns are fine. I don't want them to lose loyalty. So I'm not going to grab. State Monopolies, yes. Cantons, yes. Militias increase. Recruits increase. Uh, replenish faster. You just lose 10% taxes. Uh, Lord's Privy Council, I don't think still is working. Royal Privilege, that's what I'm looking at grabbing. Marshals can be okay, Feudal Inheritance, Senate. I think I'm going to grab Royal Privilege right now. Because the first thing I'm going to do is get a, somebody into my clan. I want to have that set up. All right, now I have a hundred. Now, what I'm going to have to do is look for somebody to recruit. Uh, we're going to go to war with the Sturgeons. And what I'd really want to recruit is most likely somebody that has like Virchag Castle. Because if we're going to push, we're going to push from here. So one of these is what I'm going to look for. Fifty nine. Minus 10. So I'm thinking he's going to be the first one I'm going to go after. Olek. I think that's my father-in-law. I can't remember. Oh, he's right here. Oh, he's by mine. Now, this is going to be the perfect setup. No. 
No, don't tell me he's in an army. I'm gonna have to follow them out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to follow them around until they break. Damn. They're traveling at three. I'm traveling at two point nine. And they and I have three hundred more troops than them. Cause I got all the horse Ah, oh, they're gonna go into my city. I wish they would break up. Oh, this is really bad. I need them to break up. I don't know how long they're going to stay together. There they go. Where's Oleg? Is he not gone out yet? I don't think he's broke yet. He should be going back to his place. Where is he? He in that. I why I feel like one of them there he is. No. Oh, that would be terrible. I don't need him going into another freaking army. There he is. He's probably going to go back to uh, his town. I got a feeling he's going back to Vertex. Yep. But I had to watch in case he gets called. And they are making an army. So they could come straight for me. Or for him. There he goes. I saw him. He went down there. Where are you going? All right, where are you? Uh, which way'd you go? Crap. You go across the water? Oh no. Oh, I don't see him recruiting. Did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. No, don't tell me he went to Epi. Come on. I mean, you're going back to your town. There he is. It's hard to catch him. Come back down this way. Oh, okay, you're going back up there. No, back down there. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Ooh. Now, let me catch him right now. Got him. All right. So what's going to happen is, is in the next episode, I'm going to declare war and then I'm going to immediately talk to him. What happens is, is when you try to, if I were to talk to him right now, while they're at peace, he would have to give up his feet. Which means he's going to want a lot more money from me. But when they're at war, they bring them with them. They require a lot less money to even start the charm check. And that's what we're going to do in the next episode. I'm going to immediately declare war. And then I'm going to try to get him. 
We probably only have maybe about a 60% chance to get him. But that's what I try to do is when I'm about to start a war. Because now I'm standing right on top of him. All I have to do is just click on him. And I instantly talk to him. This is how I, I try to recruit people. The other way, of course, is also going to castles and talking to them through the walls. But that's what we're going to do in the next episode. We're going to try to get Oleg, and then we're going to war with Sturja. I will see you in the next one. Take care, and thanks for watching.